again, it sort of annoyed me that, you know, there's this really cheap hardware and then people are kind of like over-engineering though, you know, people are making sweet machines with a full node in using Raspberry Pi. Um, whereas, you know, a, a, a sweet machine should be like a secondary device. It shouldn't be the main device. You know, you should, your node should be somewhere pretty safe where someone can't pick up, pick it up and walk off with it. Um, and then you should have all these little devices communicating with that node. Uh, it's also that, you know, those, those Andreas talks, wasn't there quite a, not, not a few years ago where you would talk about the internet of things, sending, you know, all these devices sending value to one another. Um, and then with lightning network, obviously we, we have the ability to send these microtransactions and have more of a, a money streaming scenario. Um, and with IOT stuff, microcontrollers, uh, being so limited, you know, if, if you're running a microcontroller and getting it to do some things, then, you know, you're not running an entire OS, you lose a lot of the, um, the vulnerabilities you would have if you're running everything on a, a small computer, like a Raspberry Pi, um, you can just focus on, you know, getting a, a lightning invoice from a node, checking if it's been paid, if it's been paid, turning something on. Uh, and they're cheap as well. So I would, I'd be pretty happy how all that's gone. There's, there's a couple of Telegram groups for doing DIY um, uh, uh, hardware stuff. And then there's a whole bunch of hardware projects um, I've seen evolve and whether I impacted them directly or indirectly or or whether, you know, it's, we're all just building a, a bigger sort of maker community in, in, in Bitcoin. You know, it's, 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 it's great to see more and more people getting their hands dirty with, uh, these IOT devices, uh, mostly as well, because again, I think it was an Andreas, uh, interview where he said that a, a future where, you know, these big corporations control your IT devices is going to suck, but if we're empowered, um, then, and we build our own devices, then it could be quite brilliant. It's that old Hal Philly quote, isn't it? Of the, the same thing, which can be used to enslavers can be used to liberators. Um, but we've got to take control of it. And then to be honest, it was kind of pretty easy then. Cause you, you just go on, you look up, I don't know, a bunch of Arduino projects on YouTube and, uh, you just, you know, repurpose it for sending Bitcoin payments. Um, and suddenly it becomes much cooler. <laughs> Because you can send these microtransactions and have things happen, turn on, turn off, or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's been it's it's, it's been it's, it's definitely been exciting watching the hardware space grow.